Hey, so I was supposed to uh, say this uh, at the end of the last video I made, so check that out if you get the chance. Um, anyways, uh, here's just an example of um, part of the Mandela effect. I'm telling you, I didn't get a new Bible. I know the Bible. I've read it through multiple times, the New Testament, read through the Old Testament. You know, I started, you know, and I'm no better than you. I'm no better than anybody. I'm not claiming to, but his words written on our hearts and our minds, we know it. Okay, this is uh, Mark 13, 10, because I just did some verses in Mark 13, which, which the spiritual revelation was beautiful when you take a deeper study because the words mean more than you might think. So uh, a lot more. So this is uh, Mark 13, 10, and this is what it reads now in the King James. So I suggest you get out the oldest King James Bible you have, and you should know, you should be able to see this. You should know, okay, but most people don't, or, or they'll just deny it. This is, uh, I'll read it the way it's, it is now and tell you the words that it's supposed to be, even though you can see it in the concordance, what it used to be, but that's what it used to be. That's what it originally said, but now it says this, and the gospel must be published, must be published, published among all nations. Now, what it used to say, and the gospel must be proclaimed unto all nations before he, before he returns. All right, you should know. You should see that. That should be clear. Like, I didn't go get a new Bible. I know what my Bible said, just like Isaiah eleven six. It always said, the lion shall lay with the lamb. Now it says a wolf. Understand, and many pastors see it, but they're not talking about it because they don't want to frighten their congregations or or turn them away, or think they're crazy. Look, I don't know how it happened, quantum computers, uh, CERN, whatever they've done. Uh, but I understand this, the world isn't what you think it is. We are actually living in the matrix. We we truly are, and you know, and I, you know, it's, it's like a type of a simulation, but I, it's not meant in the, the way that you think a computer generated pro program, it's, it's something else that's far scarier, actually. Okay, strong delusions, the whole world, what you've been taught it is. So there's that. And that should be, you know, just some clear evidence right there. Okay, and the gospel must be proclaimed, not published. Okay, and it said among, it means, that's what it says now, but it should be unto all nations. The gospel must be proclaimed unto all nations. That's what it used to say, originally said, but now the words are being changed. Super, like it appears to be supernaturally however it's happening falling away great falling away understand that there's residual evidence for this stuff don't just poo poo it and not look into it okay the word of God is Jesus Christ right John 1 understand that the word that was made flesh is Jesus Christ if you hear his voice does he dwell within your heart Okay, so there's that. All right, God bless. Look into these things because they are important. They're, they are important. Okay, God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.